Just imagine like, you know, how powerful is this device? It can sense your touch. It can hear you. It can see you. It can know your location. It knows so much about you. Piyush Jain is the founder and CEO of Simpalm, which develops apps here in the DC region. It's his passion and livelihood. And yet he knows there are risks. There's this old phrase, right? The morality of the hammer is in the hand of the holder. And to outsmart the bad guys, he's becoming one for the day. So I built this app called Demo Spy Cam. He's showing us an app that he made for us for both Apple and Android phones. After downloading it, he was asked to grant access to his phone's microphone and camera. After that, every time he opens it, the recordings will start automatically. I'm going to start the app and I'm just going to move it around. And after a quick pan around the room, he turned to the computer where the video went directly to the Simpom server. And I'm just going to move it around. There you go. See, I see your tie. I see what you're wearing. Look at that. All this a warning about what's possible when you give apps permission. You need to know what apps are on your phone. Rebecca Harold, who has spent 30 years as a data privacy expert, tells us we usually agree to sharing our private data when we download an app because people rarely read the terms of agreement. And this leaves our data vulnerable from video and audio to our camera roll and contacts list even our GPS location. A lot of folks don't realize that when they download an app, even if it's just a game app or a silly image app or whatever, oftentimes that's how these accesses to phones are accomplished. So how do you know if an app is accessing your phone's data? If you have an iPhone, you'll want to pay attention to this. Every time your camera is accessed, a small green light will pop up in the top right corner. And every time your mic is used, you'll see a small orange light. And if you have an Android version 12 or up, you'll get notified as well. A green light in the top right corner indicates that your camera or microphone is being used. But here's the thing. We're not powerless to stop this. We can protect our data by taking a couple easy steps. First off, both Apple and Android phones allow you to opt out of sharing this data. For example, let's say you're feeling a bit nervous about your TikTok app. With a few clicks in your settings, you could take away the app's access to your contacts, microphone, and camera. Because that's iPhone closing the door. So even if TikTok really wanted my data, Got it. the door is closed. Door is closed, yeah. Blinds are down, right? I Blinds know. are down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Harold also says it's a good idea to remove apps regularly from your phone. A lot of people don't realize that if you don't use that app, but it's loaded on your phone, that app is still doing things in the background. Now on our website, we have a step-by-step -step breakdown on how to change your settings so that apps are unable to get a hold of your data. We also have more on the privacy policies from both Apple and Google. You can find that at WUSA9.com. For WUSA9, I'm Evan Kozloff.